full circle. From the tomb of the womb to the womb of the tomb we come. An ambiguous, enigmatical incursion into a world of solid matter that is soon to melt from us like the substance of a dream. The hero responds to a call to adventure. The story often opens with the hero appearing restless. Something is missing in life. There is a feeling of destiny. It is a time of separation. Sometimes it takes a shock to make a break from the past and gain courage to accept the call. Into this darkness of letting go, the journey begins. We don't live our freedom and our trust and our compassion that is present in the depths of this life. Instead, we live inside a little box. Instead of living this whole relationship to the final reality, we live inside this box. This box protects us from our gross humanity and protects us from the final mystery both. This box has a name. It's called personality. Each of us live in this box of personality. Typically, we don't know we're in a box. We think the box is us. Uh, we think the box contains reality. And we need to understand that each of us has constructed this box. It's human made, board by board since infancy. This box of well-practiced set of habits is a useful. Uh, you wouldn't want to be without your box. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be without your well-practiced habits. Uh, they do have some utility. Uh, sometimes we call this box our, our social conditioning. Because what makes up our personality is not unique to us. Uh, we've learned it from our society in most cases. We've not created something society never heard of before. Uh, society is also a box, a set of habits that have become customary for those of us who live in that society. But our habits are not our true being. Our customs are not our true being. Our moralities are not our true being. Our beliefs are not our true being. Our personality is not our true being. Our personality habits are also past-oriented. This is the way we always did things, but it ain't necessarily the way we always will do things or could do things. We learned these habits in the past. We put this personality together over the course of our lives. But we do not live in the past, actually. We live now and only now, and it's always nothing but now. And the real person lives in this now and is capable of breaking these habits and doing something different. We built this pattern with our essential freedom. And once the box was built to exclude our freedom, we became a robot of these patterns that function unconsciously, automatically. Our personality patterns tend to be inflexible. They do not apply to all the situations that come up in life. So they're kind of like a block of ice that won't move through some of the narrow places in life. You know, they kind of move along pretty good a lot of the time, but then you come to one of these narrow places in life and your block of ice just won't go through there. But the same water, when melted, will flow through anything. Any spot in the stream, no matter how tough, no matter how narrow, your true essence, your true freedom, your true spontaneity, your true creativity will flow fine in that spot. Our true being is flowing water. This discontinuity and the invitation it delivers to grow into a bigger reality is a universal human experience. It happens to all of us. It comes with the package. We can choose to like it or not. It doesn't care, but it is real. The decision is mine to take this journey or not. There are countless ways to not take the journey of awakening. There are endless ways to pretend that life is the way I want it to be and not the way life is. Endless ways to live in make-believe and illusion. 
Throughout human history, this path of illusion has been and remains the most popular course through the journey of life. The options for living authentically in reality are not so many. Life in reality is the path less taken. This is the path of the contemporary contemplative, the one who chooses again and again to practice the ultimate encounter awakening to one's own depth reality. The contemplative life is one of intense inner conflict. The peace which it brings is a peace that follows war and exists, often enough, in the midst of war. The discontinuity and the darkness invite us each solitarily beyond our comfort zones and into the promise of a greater reality. Please join me on this next step of the journey. Come on out into the deep expanse of the real. <laughs>